Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day three of uh, barn painting. We moved a little closer today. We're down underneath the apple tree um, just so we can see, um, I don't know, some detail maybe. Not that I really need any, <laughs> but um, that way maybe it's better for you guys at home, not necessarily for me. Um, but we're gonna work on the barn today and we'll see where we end. Okay, so kind of what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for some of those darker areas um, on my barn. So like the shadowed areas, the black areas where the boards are missing. Um, just kind of, um, yeah, those darker, those darker areas. <laughs> and what I'm doing is laying those down because um, eventually I'm going to take... Um, some red paint and I'm going to do some painting over the top of that um, to kind of make it look a little more shadowed but so right now I'm just laying those dark colors down where it's kind of the same process of um, I guess what you want to say an underpainting now am I a pro absolutely not <laughs> so there may be you know a different way that you do it and that's okay um, like I said before yesterday art is um, how the artist creates it and that's what's what's so cool about it so um, you can use my idea as an idea um, there are several other ways that you can do it so let's keep painting So, I'm getting pretty happy with what I'm doing here. The problem is, usually I have a tendency to overwork. I'm like, eh, this is going good, and I just keep going. And then, like my roof yesterday, I think I overworked it, and I may go back and work on that here in a minute. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I may let it dry, and then, you know, work on my roof a little bit. And then, um, see if I want to lighten any areas on my barn. Um, but you have to remember, like, really, is there any wrong way to paint. I mean, if you're putting paint on a canvas and you're mixing it and you're blending it, um, I don't think there's a wrong way to paint, but the more you paint, the more you learn. Um, so there's that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, you just got to keep going. The problem is if you... Um, don't like your painting and you just stop because you're like well it's you know bad um, well that's the problem your painting's not done um, painting is work that's why they call it artwork because it's work um, so yeah let's keep going let's see what we're gonna do I'm gonna be honest with you. I need some critique. Um, critique is so 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 valuable. Um, what it is is you put your art out there, either finished or not, like not, and um, you get feedback. A uh, couple reasons this is important. Sorry, my eyes are watering. Um, it's cold out here. <laughs> Um, the reason that this is important is you get those fresh eyes to look at your artwork and say, hey, you know, if you do this or you do that, you know, th that might change the angle. Um, you don't always have to take the suggestions, um, but it's, it's, it's very good um, to have that. So I'm going to end today with the opportunity to critique my work because I feel like I need some input, especially on my rough. Um, and I miss my students. They give really great critiques. 
Um, so if you have some feedback for me, I would love to hear it. Um, and then we'll pick this up again tomorrow. We have like two more days to get this guy finished. And um, I'm excited. I didn't realize how stressful uh, painting while being filmed could be. Even though you're not here, you're here. And so it's here. <laughs> but um, this is fun. It's a good learning experience for myself as well. So um, thanks for joining me today. And I hope to get some feedback from you guys. And we'll continue with this tomorrow. See ya.